Cool. We've now um, kind of come to the end of uh, another PyCon ZA. Um, and to give us the closing speech, we have Ed, uh, Adam, the PyCon ZA uh, conference chair. All right, does this thing work? Yes, there we go. So thank you everyone for staying with us until the end. Uh, I, I had an interesting time organizing this and uh, I did enjoy it. It was definitely uh, memorable. Uh, so first of all, uh, as I was saying, thank you for a great week. Uh, it's the end of Open Source Week, as I said in my opening. So uh, we had LinuxConf and PostgresConf, PyCon ZA, and we look forward to working with them uh, in uh, next year and future years, if possible. And also, uh, we also want to thank them for dry running many other things. It, it, it might be hard to imagine, but the video stuff would have been even far worse if it weren't for them. So, so they definitely, they're, they're awesome beta testers. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to say thank you to the sponsors. This time, I'm going to be nice to your hands, and you can hold the applause until the end. So first up is our diamond sponsor. So it's Obsidian, and they believe they have a giveaway. So if they can uh, go ahead now. Also, there'll be two other giveaways after Obsidian, so I hope uh, those, uh, that those teams are ready as well soon. Sure. Okay, so the Obsidian giveaway is going to go to somebody who attended all three conferences because they were the Open Source Week diamond sponsor for the whole week, essentially. They felt that they should give something away to somebody who actually attended all three. Who here attended all three conferences this week? Okay, now you have to be here, so... If you're not here, you're not going to answer, and then that's fine. And that is a Obsidian person. Next one. Johann Zitzmann, are you still here? Did you run away? Oh, man. <laughs> Katlejo Madisa. Come on, don't stand there. What, what did, did Katleko win? That was a pair of AirPods. Woot! <laughs> okay, thank you, Obsidian. That was nice. Uh, also, one note about Obsidian. So, in terms of the coffee, so you'll see on the left is last year's. We drank at four times the rate per person as the other conferences last year. This year, was, um, you, you guys have actually heeded uh, my, my request and you drank actually less than all the other conferences 1.4 coffees per person. Rather, Lynx Conf was like 1.8, for example. So, thank you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Obsidian was a little annoyed because they actually, I think they ordered extra stock just being prepared, and then you know, now, now they don't know what to do with it right now. All right, our platinum sponsor, which is Microsoft, and they also have a giveaway. I like big boxes. Um, I think we all know that we're giving away our anti theft backpack. Yes? Those who entered the competition? Okay. And the winner, Mpo um, Pengo. Is he here? Oh, well done!
right. Now, next up, uh, our gold sponsors, or gold sponsor, uh, Google Developers. And now our silver sponsors. And the first one up on the list, because it is Aruba, and they have a giveaway as well, I believe. Uh, is Aruba here for this? Oh, sorry. OK, the miscommunication among the, the organizers. Um, cool. We'll make something up. L Laura, do you want to come help give away? <laughs> That's it. Have, we do have an Uber product. We just have to f figure out a way of giving it in a very fair way. <laughs> Any ideas? Natasha, do you want to come up here and throw it? It's, it's traditional. Come, come on. It's traditional at PyCon today closing ceremonies to throw stuff. So, so you're up. <laughs> oh, bef before, before you throw it, I just want to show uh, what it is exactly so that everyone knows. So a nice little uh, backpack. Oh, we should, can we put it back in its bag when we throw it? We don't want to get damaged. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm actually, hmm, I'm suddenly wondering about all of these jugs of water that are on the table. Um, so. I actually wonder if we should throw a proxy. Do you want to throw a proxy? And then whoever brings us this particular mint. <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count. I think. Woohoo! Okay, now I know you all have mints on your tables already, so we'll know which one, I promise. Oh, well. oh so that's. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, next silver sponsor, Python Software uh, Foundation. Uh, and uh, next one is Take A Lot. Next one, Offizen. <laughs> Offizen is fine. <laughs> I like ordering from them as well. Um, FIS, City Prepaid, and our patron sponsors, Thinkist. And Afro Labs, and our media sponsor is my broadband. So I want to all you, all you, to now give a, a nice big round of applause for people for the people who have paid uh, to make this happen. Thank you. <laughs> all right, now. I also want to uh, just also thank the venue, which is the Wanderers Club. Now, if you guys enjoyed the venue, if you think it was a good venue, I want you to please applaud. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, now also, uh, hold your applause as well for this section. So, um, thank you to speakers. Speakers, please stand up. Right, no applause yet? We have a lot, we have a lot of thank yous. Okay, uh, stay standing up. Thank you, video team. Video team, please stand up. For those of you, some of you are already standing up. Okay, next one. Session chairs, please stand up. Uh, open space speakers, please stand up. <coughs> Lightning talk speakers, please stand up. And also, thank you to committee members. Please stand up. Okay, so, uh, so committee members, uh, we have so many roles. Uh, actually, I'm going to go to the thank you before that. I'm just going to see, yes. So, uh, uh, I'm going to go back to organize just now, but uh, just so you don't have to stand up too long, I want you all give everyone you see here standing up a round of applause for making this possible. <laughs> now you can sit, thank you. 
So just to go back to quickly on, on, the, on the committee members, so there's just so many roles and th little things to be done over the course of a year, as, and especially gets intense close to the actual conference within a few weeks. So there's sponsorship, there's budget, there's funding, there's venue, uh, organizing speakers, reviewing talks and all that, <laughs> side events, like uh, finding things that could go on on the side, uh, marketing, uh, w uh, managing the website, swag, ordering that and packing it and all that, and of course the PS, uh, PSSA, I think that's the uh, correct way of writing it. And, um, and of course, uh, they handle our accounts now, so that makes things a lot easier. Okay, so thank you all to, to you guys. Okay, so one thing I want to quickly ask is uh, anyone, any shout outs, any interesting things you learned or unexpected things you've learned? Anything? Ah, sorry? Loads. Lots. Oh, yes, that's good. I remember um, ha there's a hamburger sort, I think. That was one that you <laughs> discovered. That was interesting. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, Airflow. Oh, yes. That's always very, very useful. Um, you can classify music as plants or lampshades or... Sh <laughs> oh, sorry? Uh, for me, it has to be Tim Sort and who it's named after. Oh, yes. That was a good one, yeah. So, Someone's really good with, the, with, with these impromptu kind of uh, 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 things. To, when things are going wrong, he always keeps things interesting. <laughs> He's very good at that. All right. So, oh, yes. Yeah, I think there's one over there. Yeah, um, I learned about uh, 720p and 50 hertz. Yes. <laughs> so if there's one thing you learned about, uh, about your computers this week, I hope it's that. Because you've got to go back to your office, especially speakers, and you'll be like, I'm an expert now. I know how to fix this problem. <laughs> OK, so also speaking of that, so the, the video issues, thank you guys for tolerating us. So we are gathering local uh, equipment and expertise. So this is the first year that we've actually purchased many of our own equipment. And uh, the reason why we ha had to do that is because some of the uh, we, uh, helpers were, that we normally bought in from other countries were kind of busy, and some of the speci very specialized video equipment that we used in previous years were used by other conferences. So we started to actually, and we were planning on doing this anyway, on purchasing actual equipment ourselves. And we spent a lot of money on purchasing uh, much of the equipment, and we're just start we're starting it. And we're going to uh, buy some more things and get them much better. Uh, in, in, in future years. So this is going to be also potentially useful for other conferences that don't coincide with ours, um, who might also need video equipment, because that's how it kind of works with uh, other open source communities like DevCon in, in particular. They might uh, send uh, to, to loan for free other conferences to use such certain equipment and they ship it back. And it's, it's always come from overseas. So we're hoping to produce this kind of uh, this pool of resources locally, so it'll be far more convenient. So uh, this is a this is a promising beginning uh, because uh, we actually own the stuff now. All right, and it's of course uh, this, uh, us gathering and meeting each other is not all over yet, just because of the end of the actual PyCon Day conference proper. So there's going to be sprints. So um, is, uh, we didn't get too many uh, submissions, uh, formal submissions, but there are going to be people working on things, especially since many of the speakers got nice little ESP32 devices. So I'm curious to see what they'll do with them. But uh, we'll be working on Wafer, which is the back end, um, which, which is part of this, uh, our site, which handles conferencing. And some other conferences also use it. And also, also you can come there and do whatever else, else you want to do. There's going to be lots of people over there with uh, expertise and uh, who might also help you if you uh, want to do something. Or if you want to feel like helping people, it's also a great place to go to. Uh, the sprints are going to be at Brave Digital. Uh, same place as last year, actually. They're actually, this is, this is uh, not too small, but basically where, where the top right wonder is, is just across the opposite side of Rosebank a couple of blocks. So this is, what, 4.2 kilometers away. So it's not that far away. Uh, so it's actually better this year than last year because it's so close. And of course, Saturday, 9 to 2 to 8, and Sunday, 9 to 5. Um, okay. Uh, tonight, uh, there's three potential dinner venues that people will be going to. There's Hell's Kitchen in Melville, uh, which some people uh, said they're going to. There's Chariot's Bar, which is right over, th uh, right over here in, in, in the place. And then there's Perron, which is just across the road and a, in a Lovo Junction. Um, so uh, in, in these one vi venues, you'll probably find uh, uh, PyCon ZA delegates tonight. So they'll be interesting places to go to. And of course, there are meetups after this week. There's, uh, of course, a Gauteng Python meetup, there's a the Durban one, there's a Cape Town one, and there's uh, another uh, Python one that you'll see in your swag bags you got uh, uh, cards for. So there's lots of interesting meetups. There's hacker spaces. Um, so, uh, so go to meetup.com, search for what you're interested in, and you'll most likely find it. And uh, uh, they'll always uh, be appreciate your attendance and uh, helping out as well. So of course, there's other PyCons, PyCon Namibia, as you heard a lightning talk about, and um, many other uh, PyCons throughout Africa as well. 
Um, also, there's a lost and found box and strikers. Uh, this is not a giveaway. This is lost and found. So if it's not yours, <laughs> don't take it. And that's it. Uh, thank you. Please give yourselves all a round of applause for coming. And I hope to see you next year. All right. <laughs>